hello and uh, welcome to my channel. Let's experiment with Laura. <laughs> trying to <laughs> see what I can do with the stuff I already have. <laughs> um, as I mentioned in my last video, I have been making doll clothes. Um, right now, and I'll flip the camera maybe to show you. I have, um, I'm like halfway through uh, another dress and um, I'm really excited about this one. Um, I have, yeah, beads and um, lace trim and I'm really excited to just put it together. Um, and I'm also, I really do want to do a, um, a doll lookbook of outfits that I've made. I just don't have a lot of accessories, so. All right, so what we're looking at is this messy-ish workstation, makeup palette, some, you know, stuff. But um, here is the dress um, so far. Um, I have not, I need to attach the skirt to the top bit. Um, I put on these little lace trim edges. Um, on the skirt I want to use this because it's so pretty. Um, and then I have some beads that I want to put up. Um, isn't that, aren't those beautiful? So I'm excited about that and uh, I guess I'll show you the progress. Okay, so this is where I've ended up on the front. I wound up putting on beads and sequins um, in like a, I tried to do in a way that they look like flowers, I guess. Um, I've seen that done before. I don't know that I particularly did it well. Um, I If I were to do this again, I'm not redoing this, but if I were to do this again, I think I would put a smaller sequin, so I would stack sequins so it would look more petal-like. Um, so the large sequin, then the small sequin, and then the bead. Uh, but I am not taking this out and redoing it. That's not happening. Um, I still have a lot of sequins left. I'm contemplating, I do think I want to add something more blue to the edge here, um, so either beads or teeny tiny sequins, um, but I'm going to hold off to see what supplies I have left after doing the skirt, which I'm going to start on the back. I want to cut these up, so I'm going to cut these up and then I'm going to start on the back um, with placement and um, beads and sequins, um, so that if it, I don't like how I'm figuring it out. It's not like a mess. Hopefully I can have like the um, layout figured out by the time I get to the front of the dress. So that's where I'm at. Okay. Oh, I also want to just say that I got inspiration for my painting. So um, I'm going with the flow. Who knows? Who knows what'll show up on my channel? All right. Uh, so I wound up basically finishing the dress. I really um, got a lot of work done and so I just wanted to show you the inside before um, I show you the final results. Um, everything pretty much was hand stitched on so uh, the beads are um, the beads and the flowers are all sewed on and the um, sewn and as well as the sequins by hand, um, I wound up going in like batches. Um, so not all of them were sewn in this section in this order. Um, that was just so that I could help um, manage my supplies and manage the evenness that it was um, sewn on um, because I did want to have more supplies for the sleeves and so I was able to do that. Um, I did not finish any of the edges, but I will say that sewing on, um, no, keep to one thought, sorry, uh, I didn't finish any of the edges because it's a doll dress. Um, if I were to get rid of this and give it to somebody else or something along those lines, I might, 
Um, or if I'm ever bored and just want to hand stitch, I might come back and whip these down. But um, for now, I've left them raw because um, these aren't going to be, like, it's going to be worn by a doll, but it's not like it's going to get wear and tear. So I'm really not concerned about these fraying too much. Um, it should be fine because also with all of the beads and stuff, it'll be difficult to throw into the wash. I would not, I would probably hand wash this. Um, and then I did, so with the back here, um, I whipped this down, but there's space so that it can get on and off the doll because this, I wanted it tight. Um, and then I ha I added, um, Velcro. And so what I did with the Velcro was I cut, um, I, this is actually half of the Velcro piece. So I cut the Velcro in half to be small enough, which is really nice because then I end up with a lot of leftover Velcro for more dresses and such. Um, I, uh, yeah, Velcro, so nice, so easy. So, um, yeah, I, wish that I had gotten more footage of me actually stitching these like together but um videoing the process of putting something together can be a little difficult uh and I sometimes don't want to deal with it so <laughs> I didn't um I am excited to make more of these dresses though this I'm so happy with how this one turned out all right let's get to the review Woo! Okay, so I really got into the zone and decided to just finish up the dress. Um, and so here we are. Let me just show you the final outcome. Oh, let me focus. Should I have like special music? <laughs> pew, pew. It's looking great. Oh yeah, it's so great. I um at the bottom here let me stabilize um so the lacy bits I sewed on around the edges and then I did um sequins and beads and then this bottom part I came over um with more sequins and beads after the fact to fill it all in um so that it was like slowly gradiating up I think I think that turned out well um, and then on the top, um, even my roommate said that it looks a little funky, but, uh, like there's something missing. But I'm going to leave it because I don't, none of the supplies I have really, uh, really seem like they would fit. On the sleeves here, I added, um, sequins on the edge of the sleeves. Uh, just for a little bit more pizzazz and because I had a whole bunch of those small ones left over. So yeah, this is how it turned out. And I am so excited. I kind of want one for myself, but um, that's, that's a lot of sequins and a lot of beads. So probably not. Okay, thank you all so much for watching uh, this week. I um, I'm digging the kind of vloggy style and I might do more talking with the doll me version. Um, I think it works out better. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye!